TJ, I know games aren't won at the start, but statements can be made at the start. What's it been like? We've seen a bunch of these games lately where you guys get out and just sort of gas on the pedal right away and get going. How does that sort of fuel that team, and, and what does it feel like in those moments? I actually hate those games when we get out like that. I don't, I don't like those games. Um, Cause we're not real good at like maintaining leads. Like we get out early and it, it's easy early and it's easy to fall into the, uh, all right, now it's my turn. You know, everybody, what's up man? You wanna get your shots up? You know, like everybody, we making shots, Duncan's hitting, Tuck's hitting, you know, it's my turn. But it's like one of those things where it's just, it's scary cause you can fall into that rhythm. You know, they, a couple of their shots go down, they make that run in the end of the second quarter. It's like, okay. Now it's a game, uh, and you're just up. Could have been 30, you know. So um, I like more of the grinded out games. Maybe we're not making a lot of shots, but we're playing good defense, hoping some shots fall, <laughs> which sounds crazy, but I prefer those ones rather than just making shots. PJ, you're shooting nearly not 50 percent. Uh, <laughs> How much are you uh, reminded of that? Uh, I have no idea. No, I don't check any of that stuff. I don't like to hear it. It's just like to play, man. It's just like I'm supposed to say, you know, all of us enjoying each other's success, right? Like I may get a couple shots today. All right, great. But tomorrow I may get one shot. But I still got to play the same way and do all the stuff that I do every single night for us to win. And that is such a big thing. Like we got so many guys on our team that can play, guys that stepped up when Bam was out, when Jimmy was out, when Kyle was out. Um, and they've proven that they deserve time and they should be playing. But now we get our guys back, uh, you know, them not playing. Um, we still got to keep that same energy, and it's tough. It's hard. It's hard. But it's something that we talk about a lot. Like Dunk said, we talk about it every – Spoke talks about it every day, and everybody probably gets tired of it. But it's so serious because I've been on those teams where it's, you know, it's dog eat dog and – the guy on the bench is like, oh, I'm better than him. And it's just, yeah, it sucks. That's not fun, man. It's not fun. Season's too long. So uh, we got a good energy here, and we're going to keep it. So I don't know what I'm shooting and what's going on. <laughs> PJ, I was actually going to ask you about that because you've been on a bunch of different teams that, you know, maybe some have had that mentality and some haven't. Why do you think, as a first-year player here, why do you think this team has had it from the start? The, the sort of the unselfishness and enjoying each other's success, as Eric talks about, instead of sort of, you know, fighting, um, backbiting people, other players for roles and the kind of stuff that sometimes goes on. Because our, our roles are super defended. We have every, like, pretty much everybody on our team knows exactly who they are, right? Like, that is a big deal. Uh, you go to a team where all the veterans are not struggling with identity. Uh, most of them won at a high level. Uh, we all know what we do well. We know what we don't do well. Um, we all know each other really well, uh, and we all have a common goal. You know, it starts at the top with Jimmy. Um, he might be, I don't know if he's, he, he's, to me, I think he's, if not the most, one of the most unselfish superstars in the NBA. It's unbelievable. Like, he, he literally tells me games he doesn't want to score. He's like, I'm just going to, hey, just be ready. I'm going to pass you the ball. I'm like, what? No, bro, make the layup. Like, no, but he just, like, that's just his mindset. And he's still going to play defense and do all the other great things that he does. But he's super unselfish, and he wants to see us all succeed and, and play well. So uh, when you got that kind of unselfishness, it, it makes it easy. It really does. PJ, speaking of definitive roles, everybody knows you, you know, coming into the season, you were known for your defense and how well you were going to fit into the heat as far as that aspect. But the offensive side of it, you were known for your corner three-point shooting coming in, obviously, the time with the Rockets, all of that. Now you've been empowered as a, as a finisher coming off the of screens, coming off the handoff. Is this the most empowered you've ever been in that aspect? And how does it feel kind of just operating in that role on a consistent basis? Um, I just get more opportunity while offense works. Uh, and we actually, uh, they let you shoot twos here, which I... <laughs> yeah, I haven't been able to shoot twos in a long time, so it took a while for me to get used to that, start working back out and working on that stuff. But uh, it's just, honestly, Spo just letting me play. I don't think he knew that I could play. So he <laughs> – that sounds weird, but, I mean, like, he knew I could play, but, you know what I'm saying, he didn't know that I could really play. So, uh, you know, him letting me bring it up, handle a lot more, be the point man a lot of plays. Uh, honestly, it's just being able to – open up more for our offense because we got so many people that can do it. You know, maybe Bam, 
Jimmy a lot of times, and Carl, we just, it's just so much. And when you got that kind of opportunity, uh, we could just literally put anybody out there and make things happen, and it's really good with that. So uh, definitely probably the most freedom I've had in a while since probably Phoenix. All right, we'll take one from Zoom. Mateo Mayorga, go ahead. Um, we didn't change anything. Uh, we just got better at it. Um, you know, as a, as the game goes on, <laughs> we just uh, once you see what the teams are doing, uh, you know who's kind of hot and what positions you're in in certain plays. Um, you get better at it. You know, you work at it, you get better at it. Uh, guys start playing it better. Uh, but uh, schematically, we didn't change anything. Uh, just do what we do better. All right, thank you, PJ. That's it. Thanks. Oh, yeah, sure. I told you guys. I'm going to do it right now.